Uh, Councilor Plyman. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to uh, recognize past president of the FOP, Vince Huber, and the new president of the FOP, Aaron Sullivan, and the fire union chief, Mr. Reeves. appreciate your enthusiasm for your leadership, but we will not have those outbursts at the uh, council meeting this evening. If it continue to happen, then we will ask you to leave. Lynn. Thank you. Um, I'd like to introduce all the fine men and women of the Indianapolis Police Department that are in the audience and thank them for their service this year. Are there any others? Next, we have the uh, approval of the journals. Adoption of the agenda, I'm sorry. Mr. President? Yes. I'd like to table proposal number six, I move to table proposal number 612, please. It's been moved and second that we were, um, all in favor. Mr. President, what is 612 for the benefit of those who don't know? It's, it's the revised code of the consolidated city and county uh, elected officials compensation. Oh, the one we were supposed to hear tonight? Yes. Okay, pay rate. Okay, thank you. That was the county elected officials and the That's sheriff pay raise. Okay, thanks. <laughs> All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? So moved. And now we will do proposal 623. Proposal uh, 623 passes 25 to 1. Yes, uh, Councilor Byford. I'd just like to explain my vote, Mr. President. Um, I just have a real problem paying $300,000 when we've got men and women that are, are basically in public safety, who haven't been, hadn't had a, basically when we talked about in rules and policy about a year or two ago that I was there, that we did want to be in a situation where they were going without a contract and now we've got one year without a contract and we're willing to put $300,000 to some uniforms and badges, but we're not willing to pay the people what they're due. So that's why I voted against it. 